Uh, Jovan, now uh, situation, as far as I understand, is changing in attitude clients to real estate business. Is it true or not? What yeah, do you think? Yeah, uh, it's completely true because it used to be really bad because in the 90s there was a crash and everybody started to do real estate. But nowadays it's starting to become more uh, welcoming business and more, uh, how to say, uh, more, with more respect. So the buyers and the sellers have more respect for the agents because they acknowledge what we do here actually and that we help them. So I think it's starting to look better than you know, 10, 20 years ago. In Russia, situation is completely the same. Uh, even 15 years ago, attitude to the real estate business was like zero level. Yeah? But step by step, by really good service, a really good professional who come into our profession, mm. into our business, situation, situation changed dramatically. And now it is quite, I can say, you say, a respectful business here and a lot of people want to become agent and it is good about income and good about even, uh, you know, uh, feeling inside what you are doing. It is important in every profession, I'm sure. And next question to you. Uh, you have a lot of colleagues, yeah? Yeah. As far as I understand, what is the situation with Russian clients? Because I'm sure everybody interesting. Is it okay to buy here? Which conditions? How to do that? Well, with Russian clients, it's really 50-50. Either we love them or they're really hard. Really? Yeah, <laughs> uh, but, but it's a problem because... If like, you know, like women. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do better. <laughs> but uh, with, with the ones that are really good and uh, happy to come here and to ask us for, for the help and support, it's really easy to finish the job. But with the hard ones, depending... Uh, they come here and think everything can be done in two days and it's chop 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 but there are some procedures so we are really trying to overcome those differences and to explain to them as best as we can and which is really good that we have colleagues that speak Russian and are from Russia so they can even uh, do it on a personal level if we via English cannot so but in general uh, it's really good because it's interesting, as you just said, uh, you're in this profession, we are helping people find their new homes. And it's really good to help a foreigner come and experience Belgrade, experience Serbia and get to buy something and to see why here is better or why not here. So you, even in that way, you learn about your city in a different way because it's different when you work with Serbians that already know about Belgrade everything. And it's different when you have to explain to someone and see what they like and, the, and dislike compared to like the local market. So so really interesting. So as far as I understand, Olga can speak about uh, uh, full languages fluently. Yes. Yeah? Really. Yes, I can. Is it true? And how it helps to your work? Uh, it helps a lot because we work with a lot of strangers, not only from Russian. The people who call from lot of uh, from a lo uh, lot of countries sorry sometimes I mix uh, languages and uh, for example one day uh, Dobritza was in uh, office and uh, he uh, came to us and he asked us is anybody speak Chinese <laughs> so Chinese. Yeah, and yeah, by the way yeah, it is yeah. interesting <laughs> We had a Chinese family walking into our office. Ah, you can speak Chinese. Uh, no, no, but we really managed, <laughs> uh, but we managed. And uh, uh, for example, on one day uh, people also come in our office and they were from Ukraine. Uh, Jovan, yeah, yeah, Jovan speak to, uh, with the people from Turkey and it's very, very nice. When okay. you can speak with the people on their own language. Olga, what is the situation here with price? It is interesting because uh, I know that Expo is going to be here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, In yeah, yeah. 2027. 2027. It is a really great event for any country and yes. your country uh, you know, was able to win this competition. And now I'm sure everybody knows about that yes. and uh, it is usually price increase yes and, and is uh, it true yes it's true and it's already started the prices get uh, got higher on uh, that location where expo will be and uh, for example one of our client uh, had something in uh, obrenovac it's a small town near belgrade and uh, he wanted to, to, from us to make uh, uh, a 
uh, to see how much he can uh, sell his property, property. and uh, he was also talking about the expo. And, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, because his property was really unusual. Um, his father worked in Russia and uh, get from there all, all the material, uh, material, material, Really, <laughs> sorry. Okay. No, I understand uh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, he also said, okay, Expo will be in a couple of years, so we can raise. So, rise okay. The By price. the way, I know that you speak Russian. Can speak Russian, really? Можно говорить по русскому. Ну, how well you speak Russian? Uh, I don't know. Let's ask Dobrits or our clients. I think uh, I. Um, uh, you never the, uh, satisfied with uh, I, I always No, you, you, you we can now yeah. speak Russian with you. It's just yeah. no problem. No problem. We can try. А, ну, можно попробовать по русски. Можно попробовать по русски говорить. Так, потому что Йован сказал, что только собирается учить русский. я училась русский от 8 лет. 8 лет, да? В школе и в университете. Ну, русский очень хороший. А в России были? Нет. Нет, ну и тем не менее такой русский, да? В Сербии это распространено, что русский хороший? Да, потому что у нас в школе от третьего класса учиться русский в школе. Да, и очень любят русский язык, народ очень любит русских и русский язык. И читают русских писателей, русских. у нас даже на телевидении очень много русских сериалов, фильмов и так далее, поэтому у нас это как... Э, и э, когда э, Газпром э, купил э, нашу, нашу нефтную компанию, не, да. нефтную компанию э, все, э, кто работает в компании, в менеджмент, э, они шли учить русский язык. Ну, очень good. Йован, you see? Yeah. yeah, you have to learn in <laughs> Russian, huh? and you also promised to learn it, yeah? Yes, I want yeah. to learn it, especially because I have friends in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Ah, really? So, yeah, so I can go and visit them, and I would like to visit them, and maybe even stay for a little bit. By the way, which percent here can speak Russian in our office, in Belgrade, approximately? About 30% of 30% can speak Russian, yeah? Mm. So, okay, no, it seems to me, it is, uh, I understand. I can't say it is good or bad, I don't know uh, <laughs> how, uh, yes. We, we, are, we are always so, saying that this is an advantage, but we don't have so many... Uh, so, Jovan, question about, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you think about law and mm. uh, uh, IT system in Belgrade? Oh, compared to Russia or...? Yes. <laughs> yes. In non general, non-existent uh, really? IT system compared to Russia, as we heard, uh, the way you operate, it's non-existent here. It's uh, really slow, so uh, half of it is still going through papers and everything. Really? Yeah. But is about the law, uh, specifically for real estate, it's getting better, as I said, because now you have to have a license. It's a state uh, exam, and if you do not have it, it's a real problem, and they can shut you down. Which is really good for us that they do have licenses and do want to work in this. Uh, business for a long time so uh, in that way it's getting better but the IT system cannot follow cannot be that quick if it's not like just for real estate everything has to follow so that we cannot uh, okay if I buy for example flat huh? and decided to register it okay. how long does it take approximately if you buy a flat, you have to buy it with uh, cash, most probably, if you're a foreigner. Then if that flat goes uh, to get registered on your name. That can take uh, either a few days if you're happy, like a week or two, or it can take a couple of months because of our legal department. But uh, if Decided have, to check, yeah? yeah Everything. Because it, uh, here in Serbia, it's really slow. Because really? there is a lot of uh, papers to to get down to, and Steel. like for example, out of the five of us, four of you already uh, are waiting, and I'm the fifth, and I will wait for that. So it, it can be a couple of months, couple of years. But if you have someone to help you, 
interesting. Uh, uh, yes, we like uh, in comparison with Russia that everything goes directly registered with like basically as I heard you get like SMS code and everything gets like we're, we're really far away from that. But in the fact like uh, it doesn't take more than a month to get like uh, registered under the name and it's like uh, like uh, uh, the automatically done by the notary service. So the notary service submits uh, like uh, paperwork to the uh, uh, cadaster and uh, basically cadaster gives uh, yeah that sometimes takes like it's few weeks sometimes ones. takes so that's that's for the legal ones no problem yes 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 yeah yeah, yeah legal I mean we are dealing only with the object mm. which are uh, absolutely legal and uh, the ones that are uh, registered uh, okay I understand which is quite just developing process here yes, yes. so uh, finally it is really good because here when I come to this office it is everybody familiar I mean this kind of uh, information advertisement mm. here uh, our brand is really it is really interesting and uh, as far as I understand you now have big success uh, during almost one year about 25 real real estate agent here you sure, have now sure. yeah and uh, as, uh, your competitors are not so fast in developing here exactly Exactly, exactly. We are actually the most uh, uh, fastest. Uh, yeah, the yeah. So it is only first step, and I'm sure in some years maybe we have to become leader. Well, this no. Is no. Great. no. Yeah. Well, no doubts here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe let's continue discussion without camera. Okay. <laughs> okay.